I'm Hind Mohammed. I'm a strategic analyst in the Policy and Capability Studies Department. I first joined DSTL as an industrial placement student, so I took the, sec the third year of my university degree out to do a year here, and I really enjoyed it, and I was lucky enough to be put onto the sponsorship scheme, whereby DSTL sponsored me for my final year of study and guaranteed me an interview for the graduate scheme, which was really good. In my area of work, we're looking at emerging issues. What are the UK's priorities in defence and security? I feel like what we're involved in is really serious and it's really relevant. And when we're working on things that we see on the news, it makes me feel like, yeah, this is definitely having an impact and this is so relevant and so current. When I was an industrial placement, I had my deputy team leader was responsible just for my development um, and nobody else's. So that was a huge level of support, which I think you need as a student coming into such a big place. I really enjoy working here. It's a really good place to be because of the variety of things that you get to do. Because it's such a diverse organisation, so many pieces of work are going on. I think you need to go out and be really proactive, engage with as many people as you can um, in order to make the most of those opportunities, otherwise you'll never know they exist. My proudest moment is probably when I was on an industrial placement, not on my graduate scheme, where I was working on a project on understanding um, deterrence for the UK. And in the end, it led to me attending one of the world's most important deterrence events, the International Deterrence Symposium, with the US Strategic Command. So to be able to go and represent DSTL, it was an incredible experience. And like, I can't believe I did that when I was on placement. Working on such high profile projects and really sort of high impact. It is a bit of a shock and it is a bit surreal, but I am really glad to have the opportunity and working with people who have been doing this sort of thing for years. A lot of them are world known for their areas of expertise. They've got such vast networks like all over government and all over the world. And just speaking to them for advice when I'm working on my projects, it's just such a wealth of knowledge that like you couldn't get that anywhere else. Well, I'm just finishing a project um, where we've been collaborating with the Indian Ministry of Defence and it's been a roller coaster. it's been incredible. We were fortunate enough to go and visit them as well, so the project team went to Delhi um, and worked with them for a week on a, in a working meeting and I don't think I'll, I'll ever forget that, it was absolutely incredible. Yeah.